Well, today at Northwest Portland Wine Bar is turning two. So, yeah, I know. Definitely a big milestone since they were only open five months before the pandemic hit. So that obviously throws a curveball on oh, things. Oh boy, talk about timing. Yeah, located on Northwest 21st and Irving Street, Bar Diane serves up wine, cocktails, food, and doubles as a cute little bottle shop. Mm -hmm. And joining us live this morning to tell us all about their pandemic roller coaster is Sammy Gaston, owner and wine director for Bar Diane, along with Chef Chris Turner. Good morning to you both. One second. There we are. There we hey, go. Hey, there's Sammy. <laughs> Hi, guys. Sorry. A little digital delay. But we, we see both of you now. So thanks for joining us. Sammy, I want to start with you. Tell us uh, kind of how you've had to pivot over the last two years that you've been open just to survive all of this craziness. Um, well, it's definitely been a wild ride. Um, so, yeah, we opened September of 2019. We've got about five months under our belts before the COVID-19 shut down and um, with that in mind we were kind of doing this casual bar um, concept and pivoted to doing meal kits and bottle sh retail bottle shop sales online sales and then as things opened up again Chris um, kind of took the reins of the kitchen over and um, we've got now a little kind of jewel box restaurant um, nestled down an alleyway um, off of Northwest 21st. I mean, with everything that's gone on the last 18 months and all the adjustments you had to make on the fly, what, what does it mean to, to hit your two year birthday essentially? I mean, was that ever in doubt? Um, there, were, there was a few moments where you're going, oh, I think not just for us, but for restaurants in general during the shutdown you were going okay how do we how do we adjust how do we pivot how do we um what's next because you didn't necessarily always know what was coming but luckily we had not only a great crew to work with but you know a great network and community support from our neighbors and landlord and it it really it all kind of came together um that's yeah, great. I mean, yeah. this is, I'm looking at these pictures. This is the cutest little space. Travis, you said you were just I, there the I other did. day. I did. I actually went for my birthday just a couple weeks ago. Oh, well, there you <laughs> so, go. Uh, it, was, it was great. Really enjoyed my time there. Fun little spot. So, Chris, I want to uh, talk to you, Chef, about some of the food options now that you've been able to kind of, you know, expand back into a bit more of a, a restaurant here. Um, how, how has that kind of changed for you? I know you guys focus on some more sustainable products. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, during the pandemic, when things were tight for everyone, we focused on making everything in-house and that's transformed to all the bread is baked in-house. And as things have opened up, we turn more from bar food into actual restaurant food where you can come just for a snack or you can get a full blown meal. And kind of just keeping everything fun and approachable, changing the food as with whatever is fresh and in season. This is a fun time period of being in between it's not quite summer, it's not quite fall, but still just keeping keeping what's fresh. So picture the radicchio salad, we're using heirloom radicchio castle franco, which is a little less bitter, and it's tossed with a buttermilk dressing with house olive oil poached, olive oil tuna, and pickled green beans, and black olive bread crumbs. Oh, so it's kind of like a tuna nissoir-esque, but a little more fun and playful than just doing a classic tuna nissoir. Oh, that sounds fantastic. And refreshing. Mm -hmm. Depending, you know, I, some of those are just, sound so like I know I love so this like powerful. summer into fall yeah, harvest exactly. time just so much good stuff so obviously you got, you got to pair the food mm -hmm. with your favorite glass of wine so mm -hmm. what what kind of food and wine pairing are, are we recommending for either Sam oh, or I, chef no I was gonna say we're um as far as food and wine pairings um uh, we let sorry my cat decided he would join oh, <laughs> of course morning. it's a zoom interview the pets have to say hi <laughs> it's true um we have a lot of food and wine pairings we like to do it's um we focus a lot on sparkling wine oh. um and from traditional method to pet nets and kind of everything in between just light lifted there's a lot of outdoor dining um it's just kind of brings a little bit of fun and refreshment um we also with some of uh, maybe a few richer dishes it helps kind of brighten up the palate and cleanse things plus who doesn't want to drink sparkling wine on a patio 
Exactly. Exactly, especially on these nice days like today. I know, uh, did you go, you mentioned, Sammy, you have like this little patio area yes. kind of off the street. And that, that's where I like sat. Like a little and it, was, it was great. Oh. It, was, it was wonderful. Love so, it. I went with a cocktail that day, though. I didn't do, I didn't do wine, but my uh, girlfriend and mom, they did wine, and they, they loved it. So. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. in two years, you guys have become quite the, the neighborhood staple there in Northwest. So if anyone has not been out to visit, myself included, mm -hmm. I got to get over there. Uh, happy, happy second birthday, Sammy. Chef Chris, thank you so much for joining us great to check out your spot thank you of yes. course yeah and if you want to see bar diane's full menu their drink section those those sparkling options go enjoy some prosecco on a patio right we're gonna have all the info on coin.com all right it's 8 42 about 8 43 this morning and we are wrapping up our week the way we know how which is foodie friday yeah you a little